Now before we get started, I'd love to thank today's sponsor, and that is the Octane app. If you haven't heard about it, it's a really cool app that's bringing the car community even closer. And as you guys know, quick disclaimer to the ad, I'm extremely particular about what it is that I tell you guys about and what companies I work with. And this company in particular is really cool because of the fact that, well, it's to bring enthusiasts together. I think it's a direct correlation to what my brand is symbolic of, the embodiment of passion is the priority and connecting people to have that togetherness and that camaraderie. Now the Octane app is pretty cool. So you can find this app in your app store on Android or iOS. And what it does is really it's a forum of everything that's taking place around you. As you can see here, here are just some of the local things that are happening right around where I am. Right up at the top here, we have tabs. So if we go to maps, you can see that there's a ton of stuff that's happening really everywhere around us. And if you scroll all the way out to the United States, you'll see that there are a ton of Octane users. It's a really cool concept. The map basically geolocates to your location and shows everything in proximity around you. So if we want to zoom in, we want to click on this meet here. You can actually click on it to see what's going on. In that, it'll tell you where it is, when it is, and what it is. You can RSVP to these events by clicking the button down at the bottom center, and then you can say, well, I'm gonna drive my 2020 Denali to this specific event, being that a lot of people have wanted to see it. Or if I've gone to a few Octane events in my Denali, I can click on the F250, for instance. Now at the bottom right, you can see that there's a drive button. So if you click that, it'll actually allow you to drive and sync up with other car enthusiasts so y'all can travel together to the desired meter destination. It's pretty cool. So going back to the map, you can see that there's a ton of stuff everywhere. The likelihood that there's an Octane event near you is very high. And I'd already touched on it, but the garage feature is pretty cool. I've only put two of my trucks in here. I have a lot more work to do in adding in some of my other builds as we've had, oh geez, I don't even know how many come through this channel this year thus far. I think it's like nine or 10 or something like that. But you can go in there, you can add photos of your build and all the modifications respective to that. And then you can choose which one you're going to be taking to the meet. And then that way, not only are you deciding which one you're going to be bringing for the event, but you can also let the people know that are also RSVPing to events as to what they can expect. So I definitely encourage that you download the Octane app, build out your garage, and check out some of the local meets around you. You'd be amazed at what enthusiasts you run into. And I've put together a mock meetup on Octane for me to check out all of your vehicles. I want to see what you guys drive. First link in the description below, driveoctane.com slash dirtymaxjack. Just click the link. It's a lot easier. Go on, make a profile, add some vehicles to your garage, and RSVP to my event. I will be there, and I'll be checking out your rides. I can't wait to see what you guys drive. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We're starting this one off at the shop. You can see all the license plates are off the wall and consequently that song that's playing right here in the background was the song that I used in my first ever YouTube video, which is still up on the channel. I did a big burnout with the LML and put stock wheels on. I thought it was the coolest thing because we had a drone come out and got some really awesome footage. I was totally, totally in all over that video and listening to this is just like the coolest nostalgia. So here you can see that we've got a lot of the license plates off the wall, but don't stress guys, we're not going anywhere. We're just doing a little bit of housekeeping. I've got my good friend Gene here from AE Painters. He's out of the Ephrata area to basically give a new face, if you will, to the shop. We're repainting it. This brown color never really did anything for me and I wanted to get Gene in here for a while to basically overhaul it. So you can see he's in here working on some of the trim. We're gonna have some black accents around the shop and we're gonna do a gray color here on the walls. You can see we've got our kind of live color palette here. We had kind of a mid-tone, a light tone, and then a dark tone. We decided to go with this mid-tone gray on all the walls, which is cool. Black trim all around, trim around the windows, trim around the doors, doors itself. And then we're gonna do some black trim that kind of runs up and around the corner. And then all the walls are gonna be a sweet gray color. We've also got uh, a good helper over here, Dave. He's sitting here hiding behind Super Duty Sam as we wait for a winner to be announced for that truck. We still have about a week and a half's time until that information gets to me and ultimately to all of you guys from the sweepstakes company. But stay tuned for that. It is coming shortly. Now these two lads in the shop are big diesel guys. Gene just picked up his 2012 G56 67 Cummins. Great looking truck. Basically very similar to the black Cummins that we actually just bought. Funny thing is when Gene stopped over to give me an estimate for the job that he's doing inside the shop, I had said I'm looking for something very similar. I was keeping it a secret from you guys at the time. Well and then lo and behold a few weeks later the secret's out and I'm super pumped about it. He just did a South Bend clutch in this thing which he's very happy with. We've got 
the Denali sitting here hanging out. And then we've got Dave's 2004, I wanna say. Cummins, this is also a G56 long bed extended cab. Kind of like the Dodge version of long bed Larry. Super clean truck. I like that color a lot. And he's also got the new 420Vs on it, which I don't know all that much about, but I do know that they offer these in a higher load rating than the older 420s, like on Gene's truck over here, which has been kind of a controversial move because this classic 420 was such a popular tire, but they weren't ever really actually designed to be on heavy duty trucks in this specific instance of towing because they're only an eight ply tire. So anyway, sorry for the little distraction there. I figured I'd give you guys kind of a little bit of knowledge on these trucks. What'd you say, Dave? What? <laughs> <laughs> so these guys are hard at work. We do have the GoPro. I'm gonna time lapse a little bit of this transformation because this guy's gonna make things look amazing. Gene's also done a lot of work in my house and it's turned out awesome. So if you guys are from the area, you're looking for a reputable painter, definitely give him a buzz. I'm gonna put his Instagram in the description below. If you want, you can go ahead and get in touch with him right there. Let's get this project started. This shop's gonna look really good once it's complete. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Give it a quick little spin around. No more brown walls. No more wooden trim around, around, around. That's where we're starting the vlog today, boys and girls. Around the windows and uh, our same white blinds that do a pretty good job. I feel like the black moving blankets that were kind of drooping on the windows there for a little while earlier on this year, if you guys can recall OGs, good memory individuals out in the audience, you know what I'm talking about. They would have actually kind of complimented the shop well, but the blinds are nice. They're actually, they're actually functional. Function and form. Good things, good things. Gene, awesome job. Dave, thanks for coming out and helping Gene. I'm sure he really appreciates it. You guys did a great job looking around. This place actually feels like a somewhat, I don't know, sterile slash clean environment now, except for the cardboard on the windows. Yes, I know that is slightly, maybe a not, not the most legit, but uh, I think we're gonna get the windows tinted uh, so that way I can pull them down. I do like privacy. These windows are massive so everybody can see right in. I know that a lot of you know where my shop is and I'm okay with that because I know that I have a great audience, but I don't wanna draw too much attention intentionally if that makes sense. So I do wanna get the windows tinted. That way I can let some light in without letting light out or visibility out but not in and whatever. Cause I don't wanna feel like I'm in a, a little bit of a fishbowl. I do ask for your privacy. There are a lot of people that kind of just like show up unannounced at times when my head's under a truck and people kind of just walk in. It, it tends to kind of freak me out a little bit. Um, I know you're all really nice people. It's just kind of getting caught off guard is something that I, I can't really say that I enjoy that much. There are security cameras everywhere around this facility and in this facility as well. And I'm not saying that as a means of threat, just letting you know that you can never be too cautious with your security measures. That's all I'm saying. Got the same thing over at my house. But now that my rant's over, really happy about this. Love the fact that we went with like the black trim and the black vents and the black doors all around. I also wanna go ahead and paint the door. I think I'm gonna have Gene come back to do that. That door black would look really cool. I like black interior decor. It's super classy, the black and gray thing. In my opinion. Smith. All right, it's staying. Looks awesome. I really, really like it. Now the walls are bare. I do need to put my banners back up, which are gonna go right here. I do have all of the license plates that I am going to put back up. I just don't know if I'm gonna end up putting them back where they were before. I'm, I'm not really exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that, but I do wanna put them up because I love having that as a token and a reminder that all of you guys are out there. And then it comes to kind of racking storage and workspaces. Being that I just underwent a really solid basement project at my house, I kinda wanna undergo a similar smaller construction project here to construct some somewhat of a work area. Um, so I'm thinking uh, what I'll be able to do is maybe build up and over this workbench here. This is, is mobile. It's kind of like my mobile workbench toolbox thing. But I think I'd like to have an actual ledge that comes all the way across so we can actually put stuff here and bang stuff and, and you know, kind of get physical with parts if need be because I don't really have that means right now. These fold up tables from like Kmart have worked really well, but these are actually our event tables. So they always have to 
come out of the shop when we're throwing up our loco canopies, pop-up tent, when we're actually out on the road doing a whole bunch of stuff, which we won't be doing for a little while because we're going into the winter season right now, but once it warms back up or whatever the case might be. And the reason that I went into all that detail right now is I really wanna ask you guys, what is kind of the best resource to go about equipping kind of the standard shop stuff? Uh, that I should take. I did check out like Facebook Marketplace. There are a lot of racking systems that are used for like really, really cheap. I'm considering maybe going out and picking up some of those so that way I can organize kind of my storage closet and all the stuff back there because it's literally just a whole bunch of wheels and tires. You guys don't see this area often, but uh, it's literally just drag radial setup, stock Denali wheels, Minimax dirt drag setup, tons of headlights, taillights, all that kind of crap. I've got my insulated flannels here hanging out and all that. So it's kind of needs a little bit of organization, but I really kind of want to clean up this whole area. I do have some stuff on the walls. And I think one thing that I would really like to add is a mural of Enthusiast, our logo, the Holy Grail, which is the one that we also have incorporated into the side of Dream Diesel giveaway number five, Super Duty Sam's headlights right there. I'd love to do like a graffiti mural or maybe like an airbrushed graphic like along the wall. I think that that would look just absolutely killer. So if there's anybody local that can provide those kind of services, definitely get in touch with me. I'm sure that you can figure out how and we can make that work. But seriously, big shout out to Gene and his painting company. They're down in the description below. If you guys need anybody with that reputable, dependable and quality service, hit them up if you're from the Lancaster County area, Harrisburg, whatever the case might be. Definitely well worth it. So now that brings us to Super Duty Sam. Dream Diesel giveaway number five is now officially closed and all of the sweepstakes have been submitted over to our sweepstakes administration company. They are now doing their due diligence to make sure that they have everything all tallied up and reconciled before they conduct their drawing. So we're anticipating a winner announcement sometime around the second week of November. Stay tuned. One of you will be getting the call to take that thing home, and I cannot wait to find out which one of you that is. All right, so obviously I have a little bit of housekeeping to do. I'm going to get that started. I'll take you guys right out. On the canvas as I write classic poems like Sanskrit. Epic, three letters, don't forget it. Pronounce soul, but I got soul in excess. The next best to the best, but the best ain't rain yet. So I guess we all kings, yes. A rising tide will raise all boats, but if you throw stones, nobody floats. Negativity breeds nothing Man, but that is an unbeatable like feeling to have your space actually clean. I had just needed to take time to do that, and I kept pushing it off, pushing it off, pushing it off, but finally it's done, it feels really good. Uh, I'm definitely very interested in trying to uh, get some more, I don't know, utility space in there, if that's the perfect word to describe it, but uh, to try and get that storage and be able to organize things a little bit more with the space that I have. I have the essentials, that's for sure. It's just I don't really think that um, it's laid out as, as optimally, as optimally, as optimally, that's what we're looking for, as it should be. So definitely open to your suggestions, drop some comments below. But as you guys know, the title and the thumbnail of this video is not about cleaning up my shop. That's kind of boring stuff. What we're going to do is we're going out for our first official test drive in our Cummins, which isn't named yet, but will be named very soon. I have a few ideas floating around, but I want to get your consensus on those beforehand. And I still need to do that. So uh, yeah, bear with me. All right, guys, so we're getting a little distracted today because there is a straight up fossil in front of me right now. We have right here, second gen 24 valve NV5600 six speed. Take a guess on the ridiculously low miles and condition and trim level of this thing. Well, it'll kind of be hard to guess probably because you have absolutely no idea, but it's a second gen 24 valve, six speed, two tone, fully loaded, 2500 Ram, and it only has 45,000 miles on it. Check this thing out. Oh my God, it's a beautiful, beautiful sight. Let's enjoy it. I have a feeling that once this video 
Cougar is live. This truck is not going to last long at all. Oh my God, I got the AC on right now. Jesus, it's freezing. All right, let's, let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. We want to rob power. Now, before I hit the road, there was something that I just noticed that I had to touch on. See this right here, boys? You probably know what that is. Like my younger viewers, you definitely know what that is. It's for your glasses. But do you know what that is, the younger viewers? That thing right there? That, boys and girls, is modern day technology for 2001. You open up this little hatch here. You put your garage door opener up in here because there's double-sided tape. See that double-sided tape right there? You put that on the back of your garage door opener you close this and then you sir have an in vehicle garage door opener because you hit this it goes up and it actually makes contact with the button on the specific garage door opener itself that is classic you even have your estimated fuel economy up here you have your step reset temperature direction oh man this is this is just so cool all right i got you guys up on the dashboard here hopefully you stay as we shift through the uh man transmission in this old beast <laughs> yeah, that's so cool God, the sound, so mechanical, it's awesome. For the camera stays in the dash here. <laughs> the turbo spools wonderfully. It makes great sounds for stocks. It's like it's got a little bit of a vibration in it somewhere. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Hopefully it's not uh, impeding on your audible pleasure sensations too much here, but. Turbo makes great sounds. It's completely factory. Like these are the diesels that you could drive and you could actually hear. It's a dying breed, guys. It makes me sad. It's honestly dead, which is even more kind of depressing. Probably the most depressing thing I've ever said on my channel. How do I look in here, guys? I feel like I look damn good. Again, I'm biased, but I'm taking them a long route today. Uh... All right, Grandma, we got a nice 24 valve here. You might want to move. <laughs> That does not get old, nor does this right here. That is a feeling of connection that only those that support the Save the Manuals movement would know. Get you guys some outside clips, because it's worth it. Even the e-brake is tight. Are you kidding me? There's nothing this thing could do wrong. It's all right, you guys can watch that segment on repeat all day you want. I will not judge you whatsoever. Because honestly, if it was me, I'd probably do the same thing. Here's a view you guys can appreciate. Just think back into the day, boys. Farm fields and old farm trucks. Hell yeah. Can't complain about that whatsoever. Sorry about the wind noise too, guys. It's kind of a little crazy out here right now. How dare you do I don't know if this is a good opportunity for a thumbnail or not. I'm trying to go like, what bro? What bro? Guy, you actually gotta close those things like a man. How dare you do Oh wow, what an amazing time that one was, man. I'm gonna remember that for the longest time. This is kind of one of those trucks that after you experience something like this, you kind of reference it every time after that. In this hypothetical sense like, oh hey yeah, checking out this second gen, but dude, you remember that other second gen, that one that was just totally immaculate with 45,000 miles on it? That's, that's what this truck does right here. Even got the uh, automatic lock too. It still works, awesome. That is so awesome. Both key fobs too. One is immaculate, probably has a dead battery. Let's see. Oh, no, it works too. So yeah, guys, uh, the intent of today's video was to come here, get everything uh, squared away with our first test drive in what is the new 6.7 G56 Cummins, but instead we got distracted by its great, great grandfather, great, great, maybe great, great, great grandfather because fourth gen, second gen. So great, great. Yeah, I think I said that right. And that was a blast. So yeah, sorry that I, the intent of the actual video didn't follow through, but again, I'm, I'm not sorry. I don't think you guys are upset about it. So then the big question is, is Jack, are you gonna buy it? And what do you guys think? Do you think it's that obvious? Do you think that I actually enjoy driving that truck? Was I like a little kid in a candy store with it? I mean, I think the answer is kind of obvious, guys. All of those things are yes, uh, but no, I'm not going to be buying that truck. I already bought a truck and it's sitting right there. We're waiting on the title for it to come in. And as much as I would like to buy it, just because it would be an amazing thing to have and own and uh, enjoy. I honestly wouldn't want to take that truck out of the form that it's in. It's kind of like a relic. You need to just embrace the form in its current condition. And if I started to modify that, I feel like I would be doing a disservice for a lot of different reasons. If that makes sense, I don't know. I might be completely out of my mind. 
but I want to save that truck for the right buyer that I know is out there, whether it's through this screen right now or if it's just out in the world and honestly just embrace it for what it is because they just don't exist. But trust me, when I was driving it on and off the camera, I had a lot of thoughts going through my mind. Undeniably, I think you guys saw that as well. So I just got the Denali all nice and washed up. Rick, I gotta say, big shout out again for doing that coating. It makes cleaning so easy. Although we need to get you back for the fender flares that were put on after the fact. We gotta get you back for paint match mirrors, the emblems in the back, the paint match grill, and uh, some of the other little tidbits that we didn't coat beforehand because I wasn't sure if I wanted to paint like the step and little things like that. So guys, stay tuned for Dream Diesel giveaway number five's announcement. Dream Diesel giveaway number six is in the pipeline. It's just a matter of uh, a little bit of time before before it launches, but it's going to be coming very soon. And you guys want flannels back? I know you do. We'll bring them back next time around. It'll just be a different color and a colorway because truly limited products here, boys and girls. My like, I love you guys. Do what you do best. Tap that subscribe button on your way out. Thank you all for your support, and I'll see you all in the next upload.